Guess. I'm sure glad we marked these. What's that? I'm sure glad we marked these. <coughs> Maybe diagram too. Yeah, but <coughs> that'll save some time. Especially after my bonehead move yesterday. Meet me at Forecasters Pub. Woodenville, Washington. All right. Did you find the notes? Yeah. Um, you need an alligator clip or something. Yeah. The instructions. <laughs> When was the last time we fired this up? Probably two and a half years ago. Okay. Maybe three years ago. Let's have to look. Oh, Fish was here. Yeah, he was. Uh, Dude. December? It was June. Yeah, June. What was he doing here was he in doing June? Here? I think he came down to pick up some 49 parts. So what year is this? You this is up. a 1956 uh, 312. Y block, and as far as I know, it's stock. And the Y block essentially replaced the flathead. Which, yeah, was also the predecessor to the FE. Right, so this was between flatheads and FEs right. for your um, overhead valve. First overhead valve, V8, and it also has the same firing order as the flathead. And these were, put these in the trucks and in the higher end. Early on, the higher end models. You know, Passenger the, cars. Yeah, yeah, the Thunderbirds. Actually, this. this was like uh, very similar to Lincoln, the Lincoln 53 Lincoln that would take up uh, Pikes Peak and uh, the La Carrera Pan Americana South American Road Race. But the the Lincoln model was was, was different. Yeah, totally different. Visually similar, but different. Let me get some starter, starter fluid. fluid. Water in this thing. Should probably get some water then. Yeah. Oh. Need something heavy, you get some old six cylinder rear end the things together. Okay, so what makes an engine start? Gas. Gas. And fire. We've got gas. We'll have power to the coil, straight off the battery. And this would be power to the starter. As essentially, like if you're turning the key, bop, 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 let it go, and then be running off this is the other ignition right here. Dude, what? It's just what? Plum, plumber's plumber's tape for a yeah, for the coil hold down. That's right. Cause, uh. I forget where that goes on. Seems to me. What's up? Shouldn't we have some bolts here? What? Shouldn't we have some bolts here? I've got the ignition connected to the battery. Not until you start it up. Okay. You know what? It's not even hooked up. It's not hooked up. Okay. Well, all I have is mechanical heat. Water temp gauge, which is at the back of the head, okay. and then obviously the mechanical oil pressure. That's okay. it. Oh, you know what we forgot? Fire extinguisher. Uh, that and the thrust block. So, no motor mounts, but a uh, good piece of two by four and a chunk of cement. All righty. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, something's, something's not right. We're not grounded. Or are we? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's to the starter. The, oh, yeah, this is the, the bell housing. I'll just use this battery. Wednesday? Started up the ranchero, was it? Started right up. 12.02. So when we hit power to this, it should, sure. it should plunge that forward, right? 
It should crank. The starter should start to crank. Right, because the, the plunger inside the solenoid is yeah. going to make that connection. And yeah, it should kick over. over. But, now that I've got a solenoid in my truck. Okay, so we're thinking uh, bad solenoid, why we're not getting juice. But every Ford owner should carry one of these in their bag. They're cheap. They're, when they go up, go out, you're essentially stuck unless yeah, yeah. you got a bunch of jumper wires. Uh, doesn't take up much space. They're cheap. And it's going to get us out of a jam here. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. All right. Ooh, is this supposed to rattle like that? You hear that? We'll find out. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Nothing. Nothing. What? So the technique should just go, right? Sparky, sparky. All right. I think we have... Dead starter. A bad starter. I got an idea. Uh, I didn't drop the starter. Alright. This next starter. Well, let's see if it kicks over first. Okay. How to fix the starter. <laughs> Set a nice hammer. So the solenoid is probably still good. It could, actually, that one probably is. Yeah, but just like in any kind of auto repair, which is the simplest, easiest, and cheapest, that's what you start with first. There you start with a hammer. Okay, so uh, this goes back over here. Oh, sorry. And yeah, nothing again. What? Oh, okay. That's Crank. It did. It wants to. That sounded better. Yeah. You're gonna have to choke it. That's what I'm doing. Ready? Yeah. So this is ignition. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> we has engine. We have engine. Man, Ready? Man, should... We probably don't have enough fuel in the. It's not sucking up fuel yet. I got fuel in the bowl. Really? Yeah. It doesn't take long. Hopefully the carburetor is dialed in. I got a mouthful of exhaust here. Ready? Yep.
contact.
sold it. We're not looking for a frame, but it will find us. It will find us. Yeah. 